Hello guys and welcome to my channel, Visual Learners. In this channel, I will attempt to break down and analyze the most recent trends and deep learning models used in the computer vision industry. As a researcher or full-time engineer in today's industry, keeping up with the latest innovations in computer vision is difficult as there are new publications and updates released every single year. It can also be incredibly difficult to make sense of all of the new terminologies used in literature, which are intended for readers with prior experience in the field. So, as an outsider looking in, you might be overwhelmed with the density and complexity of the ideas discussed in the papers. If you're like me and you just want to implement the latest model, you will get lost trying to figure out all the terminologies and acronyms used in literature. The goal of this video and other videos that I will be releasing is to make sense of all the terms used in computer vision literature and to keep you up to date on the latest deep learning algorithms. Instead of wasting your time searching for the right sources, I have gathered all the information you need and simplified the complex parts so that you can focus on and easily remember the things you need and grasp the most important concepts. In this video, I will introduce you to the YOLO algorithm. In everyday conversation, YOLO stands for well, you guessed it, you only live once. However, recent deep learning literatures have been using fancier names such as attention is all you need and so on to grab attention and make it easier to remember. In computer vision, YOLO stands for you only look once. So why did they choose this acronym? And what does it mean? We'll get right into it in this video. Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking at YOLO and YOLO stands for you only look once. So as an introduction, let me say a little bit about myself. My name is Teddy. I'm currently in my second year of my master's studying software engineering at Northwestern Polytechnical University in Xi'an, China. I mostly work on utilizing object detection and segmentation algorithms for medical diagnosis. The goal of this series is to help you learn the theoretical background and evolution of one of the most commonly used real-time object detector called YOLO. The reason that I created this series is because there aren't a lot of resources out there to teach you about YOLO, and if there are, they are mostly spread out. So, the contents of this series are divided into three different parts. The first one is about the basic concepts or terminologies. After we discuss all the basic concepts related uh, to YOLO, uh, we'll be looking at the matrix, uh, the evaluation matrix that are used to uh, evaluate the YOLO model. And on the third part, we'll be looking at the evolution of the different uh, YOLO models that have been released uh, over the years. So uh, we'll be looking at YOLO from version one up to the latest uh, release of uh, YOLO, uh, which is YOLO V7. So I hope you'll have a great learning experience and utilize all of the concepts that you will learn uh, from this uh, YOLO series. Thank you.